Yes, today, today it's gonna be fast. We're doing three times 400, mm -hmm. and I'm doing them a little bit in and out, and she's doing steady. Okay. So it's three times 400? Is that right? Yeah. Yes. And explain to people that maybe don't know what is in and out. <laughs> yeah, so since we are 800 meter runners in a competition, it sometimes feel like you're like getting faster, getting slower, and because you have to adapt to the other runners. And I think it's nice to like at least try to simulate it in training. Yes. And, um, yeah, it's a little bit more exhausting than running a steady pace, I think, because like you always have to yeah, get back to the normal pace, yes. and that's exhausting, but I think it's a very nice program. I've been doing it, yeah, I think, for the last six years, but yeah. not too much, okay. like two to three times a year. Okay. So basically, in the 400, you do some parts of the 400 quite fast, and the other parts a little bit like yes. off the pace. Yes. You try to float and run fast, yeah. but still, yeah. yeah. Okay. And so, is it? How do you break down the 400? Is it like 50 meters, 50 meters, yes. or how does it work? It's yeah. every 50. So I'm starting with a, like a more comfortable pace, and then I'm trying to uh, yeah accelerate. So I will have the last 50 meters uh, the fast part. So <laughs> it's cool. like final stretch. Sure. <laughs> And you, you will do the repetition one at the same pace? Yeah, in steady yeah. pace. Okay. It's a little, little bit easier and I think it's exhausting. Enough. But I think it's also quite hard from, for the brain. So for me, I like, for, like for mine. So uh, for me it's quite nice because I can like split it into 50 meter parts. Yes. So I have to do Depends. it all at once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. And the first 50 will be fast and then you relax. No, the first will be... Relax. Like getting in the pace okay. and then and then fast. Yeah. Okay, cool. And do you have any goal pace for the whole 400 yet or is it just you see what happens? So I've been doing yeah. them between 56 and 60. Okay. Um, but I think uh, the yeah. hardest ones were probably between 59 and 59.5 because mm -hmm. I've been really getting off the pace. Yeah. And like if I'm running a 56, it's almost steady I think because like yeah. you cannot really relax in between sure so that's um, so yeah let's see what's what's happening today because it's the first time I'm like trying to follow uh, my tears mm -hmm. um, and like getting back to her every 15 minutes sure. okay so that's quite close well it's right around the pace you'd run the first lap in a race in the 800 because yeah. your best is 159 and actually you're 20 Sorry? No, it's also the 159. Oh, you're 159. I'm sorry. Okay, I thought you were 201. Okay, my my bad. So so it's more or less yeah the first uh, 400 meter yes. lap pace. Yeah. yeah, awesome, cool. And between them, you'll take 15 minutes. Yes. Okay, long recovery. Long Very recovery. specific. <laughs> yeah. Cool. yeah, but you really re you will need it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. I'll let you continue your warm up before I ask you about your shoes. <laughs> So what is your shoe of choice for this speed workout? Um, You're with Adidas? Well, yes. yes. For warm up it's the uh, Adizero Adios 6 and um, after that I'm uh, switching to the Adidas Ambition Spike. Okay, do you have it here? Yeah, obviously, the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs>
Okay. Is that um? I, I actually am not familiar with Adidas and its bikes. Is it is it with the plate or anything it's like that? It's carbon. Yeah. It does, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Were you racing them as well? Yes. Yeah. And Christina, you are with Nike? Yes. yes, and I'm wearing the Pegasus today for warm-up yep. and, and we'll wear the Dragonfly right now. Very, uh, very standard combination for a professional <laughs> Nike athlete, Pegasus and Dragonfly. Uh, but actually for my 800 meter competitions I prefer the Airsim Victory. The Victory? Yes. Okay. But um, yeah, I actually almost only wear them in competitions. and. Like the dragonfly because it's not too stiff and but still gives you nice. Do you think that you recover faster from using the dragonfly? Well, I think it's easier to keep the pace. Mm. Like. And is there any other Nike shoe that you wear in training? Do you wear the Vaporfly in any tempos? Yes, yeah. I like them, but um, I prefer them when I run on the roads. Yeah. And um, when I do track workouts, I actually um, wear the Streak. Yeah. Because I really, it's, uh, it almost feels like with spikes, but it's uh, not too, uh, yeah, not too, so heavy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> So do you get nervous before workouts like this? Oh, I know it's going to be a tough one, so I'm a little bit nervous. But I know it will be good. And at the end, I'm glad I did it. So yes. Like you said before off camera, though, you have lots of recovery between. So yes. Lots of time like to gather to your, to gather your thoughts. <laughs> to prepare for the next one. I will need yeah. it. Yeah. Yes, we, we didn't. Have, we have, <laughs> you're different brands, but you managed to match somehow. Yeah. It's quite impressive. So you didn't clean this? No. So, yeah. Okay. So, cool. Yeah. 29 0. Was it for water time though? Yeah, it was okay. So it was uh, 29 flat and 58.5. So Ooh, nice. yeah. very even. And it was quite funny because it, it felt nice to like leave a little bit space and then yeah, yeah. Okay. being able to pass her. Yeah, perfect. Yes. Good first rep. So what was your 400 time for that one? I had now 59.3. That's a good start. Yes. But you want it, yeah. <laughs> but the first one is always the easiest, and now it's yeah. getting yeah, okay. yeah electric. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's five minutes to go. Yes. <laughs> okay. 
So what is it that you take between the intervals? It's not water, it's uh, some sports drink or? Yes, it's for sport. Yeah, you are both Good sponsored? Good for hydrating, yes. Yeah, okay. It's a regular sports drink, like we're just with glucose, yeah. yeah. Okay. What's the flavour that you have? I think you prefer? It's, it's mango. Mango, nice. Okay, <laughs> very cool. And after the training, will you take any protein or anything? Sometimes, so not today. I think, yeah, so like uh, here in the hotel we are quite uh, we have nice food and I yeah. think we can get yeah. all things in we need, but sure. yeah. okay. sometimes some protein, yeah. but more of the speed and yeah. weights. Yeah. Do you ever measure your lactate in these sweats workouts? Pardon? Do you ever measure your lactate? Um, sometimes in high altitude, yeah. Yeah. like to be able to, yeah, look if we have adapt another to measurement yeah. and your own yeah. feelings. But yeah. yeah, sometimes we like two or three year, times a year we have like tests. So, but in training, not too often. Yeah.
last one, the best one. Yeah. yeah, was the last one the fastest one? So, yeah, yeah. it was 28.5 mm. and I had 57.1. Oh, okay. Must have 58 or 57 high? 57 high. Yeah. Nice. What was the, I forgot to ask the second one. Pardon? What was the second one? Uh, it was also 58.5, but with a 29.8. <laughs> okay, 29.8 first 200. 29.8, yeah. yeah okay. For me, the second one was similar yeah. to the first yeah, one. Yeah, it was almost the same yeah. as the first one, but the first 200 was almost one second slower. So the last well, one, would, according to the timer this here, This would 56. be a negative split as well. Yeah, yeah. So your second and third one were negative split, second and half faster. Yeah. But you're doing standing starts, so it's not so surprising. You're standing, yeah, not, yeah. not rolling yeah, in the yeah, start. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the first, um, like, really specific 800 workout this, this season? Or? Um, I did quite a few. Yeah, like so oh. actually I did the same program two weeks ago at home, indoors. Uh, but it was much harder because the first one was very fast. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then I will start next week with doing like 200s and race pace. Mm -hmm. But I did some like 10 times 150 meter. Yeah. Yeah, so for me, the focus is um, on summer because like we have worlds and Europeans and yeah. Europeans in Munich so yeah <laughs> on your Instagram goal. it's follow, follow you to the Munich yeah. <laughs> I saw it just now yeah, it's a big yeah. goal so yeah would you be with your personal best 159 both of you would you be in the top um, like in the favorite to to medal in the European champs I guess like from my experience it's very tough to get into the final hmm. But if you make it, then I think Anything can almost everything is possible, yeah. yeah, yeah. But like you have to get to the final. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think for Europeans it's one day after another, so yep. it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so okay. that's tough. Okay. And will you aim for in world indoors? No. no. Not planned. No. Okay. Yeah, it's so late and... Yeah. Like, for me, personally, I don't like to run indoors because uh, of the thin air and mm. like I don't like the air and okay. it's much harder to oh. like, I think you really have to be in front to yep. get in front in the end. Yeah, so. sure, sure. 